It was about five years ago I stumbled upon the term trading. And as an introvert, I got really interested that I can make money without facing clients, without facing customers, and most especially without doing any sales. So if you are brand new to the concept of trading and you want to get started this year, then I will show you the three steps that you need to take if you want to trade the Philippine stock market. The first step is to choose an online broker and so the first step is to choose a stock broker and i'll go over the ones that i have used and the platform that i wish i had started in right away and the one i'm still using now number two is to pick a strategy to give you an edge in the market. So maraming ways on how you can trade in the market, but I started with different strategies. Marami ako nakita sa YouTube and sa internet at sa mga ibang mga coaches na nagtuturo on how they trade the market. I'm gonna go over the strategy in this video that I wish I have started with. And number three is funding a small amount. But also before you do that, dapat nakapag-set ka na ng goals and the rules and your emotions are in check dito sa number two. And also making sure that the strategy that you are using, na test mo na yon to prove that it really works. So let us go over the steps. And the first is to choose an online trading account. I have used more than one stock broker in the past. And meron na rin akong video comparison on my experience dun sa tatlong broker na yon and sa tatlong trading account na yon that you can check on this video after you finish watching this. In that video, I talk about yung mga ginamit ko from CL Financial, First Metrosec, and to Trade Asia. Now, there are mga iba na comment don if I could put up a review daw for fill stocks for my trade or AAA. And hindi ko siya magawa ng review and ng comparison because hindi ko naman sila nagamit. But some of my trader friends they use fill stocks and AAA. So you can go ahead and check out reviews on those online trading accounts as well. One of the main reasons that I switch is because of their mobile app. So this is to trade Asia. And one of the common misconception kasi when it comes to trading is dapat nakatuto ka sa monitor mo, nakatuto ka sa computer mo, and binabantayan mo na siya. And that's the whole reason why you have the mobile app. So you can just check it if valid pa yung trade idea mo. And in a general sense, guys, trading is just the buying and selling of securities. In our case, stocks. So kung bumili ka ng stock ngayon at binanta mo next year, nag-trade ka. And that's just in a general sense. I know there are other terms that would break down trading like day trading trading, possession trading, scalping, momentum trading, which differs it from investing, which is a buying and holding strategy. But just so you understand, pag may binili ka, may binenta ka, nag-trade ka, merong exchange na nangyari of a product, of a service, of a commodity, or a security. And also, one of the reasons why I change brokers, which I also mentioned in this video, is because I need a charting tool. So, ano ba yung charting tool? In trading kasi, I use technical analysis, which I will mention in step number two. But essentially, a chart tool or technical analysis uses charts to make decisions kung anong trade yung gagawin. And I will show you the ones that I use. Here in 2Trade Asia, meron silang charting tool powered by TradingView and you can expand it para mas malaka siya. Ayan. I also use TradingView. Ito naman siya. Or you can also use Investagrams. Tapos you can do charts here. There. Meron din sila dito ang charting tool. Now, once you are set up with the broker, you will see this. And as a beginner, it may look overwhelming, diba? And that is something naman that you can learn as you go along. But if you are seriously considering to trade at gusto mo mag-advance down to that line, I think it is worth the learning curve. And it's also good to have a trading goal. Just answer the question, why do you want to trade? Or why do you trade? Because if you don't have time to learn trading as a skill, you can consider naman other options like investing in UITF or mutual fund or just going into long-term investing. Trading is quick money but based on my experience, it took a lot of studying, it took a lot of time, it took a lot of practice, it took a lot of execution and skill building to be able to reach the results that I wanted to. Now, let's go to step number two which is once you have your online trading account opened and activated, you need to be very familiar with the software which is this. You have to be very familiar with their website, yung ano yung mga functions na available for you na magagamit po and the tools and resources na meron sa kanilang platform. You also need to understand the basic of technical analysis or TA. 
Tapos tsaka ka pumili ng strategy that you know fully how to execute. By definition, and technical analysis ay identifying trading opportunities by analyzing statistical trends gathered from trading activities such as price, movement, and volume. So what you see in the chart, these are all price movements. And that is what you analyze when you do technical analysis. Meron din siyang mga advanced version kang matututunan. And you can learn that naman as you go along. But what I suggest is that you learn the basic of technical analysis first. Understand the support and resistance. Understand the trends, the different kinds of trends. Kasi you can progress naman to more advanced strategies and more advanced techniques as you go along. In the Philippine stock market, the way we make money is when the prices move up. Unlike other markets like crypto and global markets, you can make money kapag pababa yung presyo. But in the Philippine stock market, the only way for us to make money is when the prices goes up. So if the price moves from here to here, dun ka pwedeng kumita ng pera. Pero if the price moves from here to here, malulugi ka. So in other markets, may chance para kumita ka in that, in that scenario. Pero in the Philippine stock market, the only way for us to make money is when the prices move up. So that's the second step. You pick a strategy, but you learn the foundations and the basic first, like the basic of technical analysis, yung mga support and resistance, yung mga trends, siguro trend lines, how to read price movements, and then as you go along, pwede mo na siyang dagdagan ng mga indicators, ng mga oscillators, at yung mga iba-ibang nakikita mo na drawings sa chart kagaya ng kagaya nito. Kasi if you missed out on learning the foundational work, and if you don't master the basic, medyo may hirap ka mag-progress into more advanced. It's it's the same naman in other aspect of life, di ba? Kung gusto mo mag-business, learn muna the basics of starting a business, and then as you go along, pwede ka na mag-scaling, di ba? So it's it's the same on wherever you want to start. It's similar when you want to learn to play a musical instrument, diba? Ang first na ituturo sa'yo is the basic, like understand mo na A major, D major, C major, mga ganyan. And then as you progress along, magkakaroon na ng more advanced. So dwell in the fundamental work first now, and then you get to pick a strategy on. Ito muna yung susundin ko na uh, strategy and technique as a basic of technical analysis. Okay, so third tayo. The third step, if you want to start trading as a beginner, is that you create a small account challenge. This is in consideration na ginawa mo yung step number two, which is picking a strategy. And not just picking, pero you have took time to test out the strategy, kahit virtual pa siya, or by using fake money. Kasi by doing that, you are able to create rules. So parang ganito siya. Di ba... The number one is that you pick a strategy, diba? You pick a strategy, and then step number two is that you will test the strategy, and by testing it using fake money or through virtual trading, you are able to create rules. Can I do this without testing or without doing virtual trading or without using fake money? Of course you can. But also, may nakapaya na doon na real money. And for some Filipinos, a lot of Filipinos, they cannot afford to burn that money or to practice out with that money. Na lagi na lang sinasabi, you invest or you trade the amount that you can afford to lose. But sometimes there's wisdom to it, diba? Na why would you venture into something na that you know you have not tested first? So you can do that. You can do it actual agad. So you have a strategy and then you create the rules, then just do it. Or you can do this in the middle so that you are able to create the rules and ensure that the strategy you are using is profitable and it's working. But just based on experience and from the people that I know, those who skipped this, this process, that they did not take time to test the strategy, they did not take time to practice this trading skill, and they did not take time to create the rules. If you have a lot of money, it's okay nga. You can just burn. It's your call. It's your decision naman ha, what you want to do with your money. But I'm just saying, so this is not financial advice. I'm just saying that for those na medyo maliit yung risk tolerance and cannot afford to lose a lot of money during the practice stage or during testing stage, uh, this is something that you can do. And if you're asking, gano kaliit yung small account challenge? For some, you might have heard about the 8K rule. So basically, this is just the amount that you can set as a target to start as a small account challenge to test. And the reason is para lang ma-maximize yung taxes, commissions, and fees. But you would also notice that in this amount, medyo konting stocks lang yung mabibili mo and matitrade mo. So I suggest na medyo lakihan mo pa sa 8,000 yung iipunin mong pan-trade. Uh, and then if you also want to open an account with 2TradeAsia, and this is not a sponsored video, um, it's just 
that I like it. I like <laughs> I like this platform. So the minimum initial deposit required is twenty five thousand only. I am not sure if because I've seen ano eh, promos in their Facebook. Sometimes nagiging ano to five k, sometimes ten k. So just check out their Facebook page or send them send them an email. Kung meron silang promo that is less than twenty five thousand. So just to give you an idea on the starting amount that you can do for your small account challenge, yung parang trading challenge mo. Okay, so summarize na muna tayo sa ating three steps if you want to start trading in the Philippine stock market as a beginner. Step one is to choose an online broker for your trading. And again, link here for the video ng mga ng ginagamit kong online trading account. Number two is to pick a strategy and learn the basic of technical analysis. And then number three is to pangit ng sulat. Number three is to create a small account challenge. Ayun. And that wraps it up on how to trade as a beginner in the Philippine stock market. I know there are still a lot more into it, but I hope this simple step-by-step -step process helped you guys. If you have questions, just comment them below and I do want to go over this long real quick I have an education focused community and if you want to know the basic of technical analysis nandito siya sa ating free training nandito siya sa number two Ito. number two topic of the web class you can start watching the web class by registering into my free training and if you are interested the link is in the description again this is Tina and I hope you guys Guys, learned in this video dahil si Juan ay hindi tamad, madiskarte siya. See you all again on the next one. God bless you all!